Our previous topic talks about the accumulation point or points of a given set. Note that not every set, even if it is infinite, has an accumulation point. The question now is, when does the accumulation point exist for various sets? In other words, given a set, when can we say that the set has an accumulation point? Now, there is an important special case which gives a positive answer to the question. We call it the bolzano weierstrass theorem. It states that for every bounded infinite set of real numbers, the set has at least one accumulation point. Now let's try to consider uh, this example. Uh, by the way, we note here that when we say bounded set, it means the set is bounded above and bounded below. So let's try to consider this example here. Uh, in this example, uh, we let the set be this one. Now let's have the geometric representation for this set. So, uh, let's have here 1, then next is, note that A is equal to this set, 1, one half, 1 third, 1 fourth, and so on. So, we have 1, and say we have 0 here, so this is 1 half, and we have here 1 third, 1 fourth, and so on. Notice that the points in the set approach to zero and as you can see here in our illustration the set is bounded above and bounded below and of course the set is infinite the points approach to zero hence the set is bounded above or rather the set is bounded and infinite so by using the bolzano weierstrass theorem, it states that if the set is bounded and infinite, infinite rather, then the set has at least one accumulation point. So of course, this set has an accumulation point as discussed uh, in our previous example. Now let's try to consider another example. We have here the bounded an infinite set B. So by using the bosano stress theorem, we can say that B has at least one accumulation point. And in fact, uh, using the concept of accumulation point, we can say that the derived set of B is the, the same as or equal to the set B. So that's it.